Hello friends, I am Sister Nirmala Arun. I belong to the Institute of the Blessed Virgin Mary known as Loretta Sisters. At present, I am in Rome, in the General Ed, animating the mission and ministry. I am from India. I was born in a traditional Catholic family. I went to church every day. I learned all the prayers. I had this image of God who was watching me all the time. And what I remember from the catechism classes, I understood if I do only good things and if I do everything correctly and rightly, only then God loves me and only then uh, God will grant my prayers. With this image of God, I joined religious life very early. And during my formation, I realized that I was very harsh with myself, harsh with others and everything around me. During my final profession preparation, I went to the chapel one evening, I remember. I had the habit of kneeling down, stretching my hand, sometime prostrating on the floor and praying in my personal prayers. So this evening, I heard a voice within me saying, you worship a God which is made of stone, clay, metal, iron, wood. What about seeing a God who's alive, active, struggling, laughing, happy, inhuman, and everywhere and everything? This voice, I reflected, and this made changed my life. Since then, I started to reflect more inward, and I saw my life changed. And during my final vows, I had to choose a vow. I had to choose a motto. I chose, my grace is sufficient for you. Because of that experience, I understood the meaning of grace in a better way. It is not my intelligence. It is not my talents that mattered. It is the life, the breath, breath of God, which is abundance everywhere. Only then I started to realize that God is everywhere in everything. And the relationship with myself, relationship with others and relationship with God became meaningful to me. I received the grace of open mind, open heart, to, be, to have open will. My life changed and I see it is difficult to see God in everything all the time, especially in difficult times, but I am aware that He is always there and I relive those faith experiences. This is my one of the significant cannonball moments of my life. What about your cannonball moments in your life?